Hey guys, so today I want to talk about stress and a few uh, things that you can do to help manage your stress. A lot of stress um, management has to do with your mindset and how you view the circumstances. Uh, like Viktor Frankl said, you know, when uh, he was a Jewish psychologist in uh, Auschwitz in uh, Nazi Germany, and uh, he said, you know, that the last hu human freedom that we have is how we perceive the things that happen to us. But aside from all that, I'm going to give you uh, some recommendations uh, involving uh, supplements, um, exercise, nutrition, and sleep, and even some meditation type stuff to help you with your stress. So first off, uh, some supplements that you can take to help you with your stress would be uh, number one, vitamin C. We all think about vitamin C in terms of helping with uh, when you get a cold, or staving off viral infections, things like that. But uh, vitamin C is important for a lot of uh, other things as well. And one of them is stress. Actually taking high doses of vitamin C as much as 6,000 milligrams a day can be important for people with very stressful lives, such as you know entrepreneurs, uh, CEOs, uh, manage, managers, uh, people like that, um, healthcare professionals. Um, now, one thing I want to say is that you don't want to take all 6,000 milligrams all at once or even in like three doses a day, maybe spread it out in uh, six separate doses throughout the day. Um, experiment with yourself and find out what works with you. If you do get too much vitamin C at once, one of the side effects is you'll have diarrhea. So you don't want to have that. The other thing that you can do is take uh, magnesium. Now, magnesium is often used as a laxative, but uh, there's actually probably six or seven different types of magnesium. Um, I don't remember the exact number. Um, and they all, all different forms of magnesium have different functions and effects. Um, I personally get a liquid version um, from a Dr. Carolyn Dean. It's called Remag. Um, it works, seems to work pretty good. Um, other supplements you can take are ashwagandha, um, and again, this doesn't work for everybody, but it's supposed to be to allow you to uh, relax a little bit more, have more clear thinking, uh, things like that. Another one is 5-HTP, which is a precursor to serotonin, uh, or your feel-good hormone makes you feel relaxed and happy and stuff like that, so that can help as well. Um, okay, so moving on from there. Um, Obviously, we have exercise. Exercise is a um, well-known uh, stress reliever. Um, although it does, you know, excessive amounts of exercise or doing too much uh, too soon, uh, also puts a lot of stress on the body and uh, can in further increase your stress when you're under a lot of stress. So you might want to modify the kind of exercise you're doing when you are under a lot of stress. So if you're under a lot of stress, some things like, you know, starting off the morning with some mobility work, stretching, yoga, uh, doing deep breathing exercises is also a good idea. And then uh, doing uh, higher intensity exercise for lower duration. So um, long bouts of cardio, doing like hours of cardio and, or like an hour long, you know, run or bike ride or something like that. Those things, uh, there's nothing wrong with them inherently, but they do tend to increase cortisol. Um, so I wouldn't rely on those too heavily. You know, a moderate, you know, a brisk walk or go for like a 20 minute jog or something like that, those can help. But other things like say doing some push-ups or uh, chin-ups or pull-ups or um, hitting the gym, hitting some weights, you know, doing a little bit heavier lifting and stuff like that, those will elevate your testosterone levels, your human growth hormone, and uh, also help to support your adrenal glands as well, which uh, aerobic exercise in done in excess tends to uh, run you down uh, and can cause adrenal fatigue and things like that. So uh, one thing, if you are low on time that I recommend is trying uh, complexes. A complex is basically where you take uh, one set of dumbbells or a barbell and you keep it in your hands the entire circuit. So you'll do like, you know, maybe five to seven exercises 
what you're going to do and you do them all back to back without putting the bar down or the dumbbells down and uh, then sometimes you can do another couple rounds but you you know you put the dumbbells down you rest for a few minutes start again usually uh, after doing 10 repetitions per exercise without putting the dumbbells down it's enough to uh, gas you pretty good especially if you're not used to that type of working out okay so then the next thing that we want to look at is nutrition so a common thing when people get stressed out is they'll go and uh, reach for the sugar um, the carbohydrates the comfort foods and things like that and uh, you know there is a good reason for that because you know cortisol uh, you know likes to have more sugar you know because you want to stockpile that energy so that you can go and then you know run away from you know or fight or you know deal with whatever whatever the problem is the problem is that you know the stress that we have nowadays tends to be more so in that you know you feel like you have more tasks on your plate than you are capable of a handling or you're stuck in one spot even sitting for longer than your body wants to can be stressful to the body and uh create more stress so adding the sugar in there can actually uh you know increase these problems and uh, make it worse rather than better even though that's what our body wants to do so instead what you want to do is focus on just you know eating the balanced traditional balanced diet right and so you know unless you have you know you're an athlete or something like that and you've you have special calorie requirements and things like that uh basic thing is start off eating a palm size piece of protein about as thick as a deck of cards um and uh, have it be a complete piece of protein so obviously chicken beef pork uh eggs things like that are all good sources of you know fish uh as good sources of protein actually eating fatty fish like salmon mackerel sardines things like that um, are great sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which are also good for helping not only your cognitive function, but also helping manage your stress. If you can think faster, if you can think uh, more clearly, it's going to make you uh, better able to handle the things that are coming at you and make you feel less stressed as a result. Um, other things are then, you know, after you have your protein, make sure that uh, you're getting some good healthy fats. So healthy fats could be like olive oil, um, avocados, nuts, seeds. Um, you know, if you're having, you know, if you can afford it getting grass fed meat, you know, the fats in the meat there are going to be good because they're going to be higher in omega-3s than, than the traditional grain fed meat, which is higher in omega-6s. And uh, getting too many omega-6s is inflammation causing, which can lead to heart disease and things like that. Um, the other thing, you also want to be getting some good quality carbohydrates. Um, depending on what your energy requirements are, you may not need as much of them. Um, that's why I always recommend people begin their meals with the protein and the fat and finish with their carbohydrate portion of their meal. But good sources of carbohydrates include beans, um, sweet potatoes, oats, uh, quinoa, brown rice, things like that. And then uh, have about half of your vegetable or half of your carbohydrates come from non-starchy uh, vegetable or carbohydrates such as, you know, vegetables. Um, so at least one serving of vegetables with each meal and then uh, basically having the starches kind of as the icing on the cake. Okay, moving on from the nutrition end of things, uh, then we also have, you know, sleep. Sleep is extremely important. Um, you know, not everybody needs the same amount of sleep, but you, most people function best between getting between six and eight hours of sleep a night. Yeah, you can do a little less for the short term, but if you are under a lot of stress, it's better to try to get more sleep. Um, and, uh, one thing is to, you know, half an hour, hour before bed, stop doing any sort of work, any sort of, uh, even something that's like entertaining, uh, allow your brain and your body to, 
uh, unwind itself, uh, begin relaxing. Also, uh, ideally, try to get be to bed between 10 and 10.30, or at the very least be before midnight. Uh, the sleep that you get before that time is much more restful than anything that you get after midnight. Um, it also uh, throws off your circadian rhythm going to bed after midnight. So um, usually between six, seven o'clock in the morning, <coughs> your, <coughs> your body begins producing cortisol and then it gets higher and higher and higher until about noon and then it should start tapering off you know as you're preparing uh for the evening and going to bed and things like that but we tend to keep it high right up until the time that we go to bed so obviously keeping away from blue lights and things like that and computer screens and tv screens and your phone before going to bed are some things that can help as well another thing that can help is doing deep breathing or some meditation right before you go to bed and what I like to do is I like to keep a notebook or something handy while I'm doing this so that if any random ideas, thoughts, or something like that pop into my head, I can quickly jot them down and then go back to my meditation uh, practice uh, uninterrupted. Because, you know, if you have some good ideas pop into your head or uh, something that you forgot that you needed to do, um, it can be very hard to focus on what you're doing with your meditation until you've laid that to rest. That's why I like to have the notebook there so I can quickly write it down and then I don't have to feel like I'm going to forget about it. I know that when I'm done or when I wake up in the morning, it'll all be there for me and I won't have to be stressing about that. All right, so this is kind of an extra long video. Um, I hope that you found the uh, information in it helpful. Um, if so, leave me some comments uh, below or leave me a comment below uh, what kind of stuff do you find that is helpful for dealing with stress when you have it. Uh, do you just kind of push through it? Uh, sometimes that's actually uh, not a bad idea either. Uh, only becomes, stress only becomes bad when you feel like it's overwhelming, it's crushing you, and uh, you know your health is starting to deteriorate as a result, and that's when you know you need to take a step back. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for more health and fitness-related information.